Hey guys, how's it going? So, here we are to do the last chapter of Fairy Tale. <laughs> Cannot believe um, I've been following this series for like, um, how long has it been now? I want to say like about five or six years now. And yeah, it's quite a long time like to follow a series and like to see it all the way through. This is my, um, I think it's like going to be my fourth time like um, coming to like the end of a series. I did it with Naruto. I did it with uh, Nisekoi. And I did it with Bleach. And now we're here with Fairy Tale. I just can't believe that it's finally ending all these years. Now I know there's going to be a lot of people out there. Who are just going to straight up like you know like be happy that it's ending and stuff. But you know the, the, the funny thing is there's good news and bad news. <laughs> Well, I, well, actually, there's good news for both the haters and the and the hardcore fans. The good news is for the haters is uh the series is ending, so you know, good for you guys. And but for the fans, we got a confirmation that the anime is coming back for 2018, so good for you guys. So, <laughs> so I guess everybody wins, right? But um, yeah. Anyway, I just you know like. Despite the fact that how this arc has been going so far. And hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, screw that call. Okay, so despite the fact that how this arc has been going on so <laughs> for so long and like how it, so many things could have been done a lot better. It started off pretty good, but then... It's like as soon as like I lean to the universe one thing, that's like when it's like it's like we enter like an alternate timeline where everything has gone way downhill. Although a lot of people people expect the fairy tale to go down that road, but like kinda wish Mashi Mashima would prove them wrong with that. But you know, I mean come on I mean okay look, let's look at what happened last chapter. Agnologia. He got one shot in. Like I, I, I honestly don't see how people could defend it. To be honest, it's just like this is the final villain who was built up to be like the biggest threat, and he actually gets one shot. Like people were always joking that Agnolia is gonna be one shot and stuff like that. But, but hero, hero, it was just that. It was a joke. And like, okay, there was a comment before, like how I put like so much faith in here and how I could not believe like how he could one shot him. But, but like, this is how I view it: him one shotting Agnolia. That is. To me is the straw that breaks the camel's back the like the final like um thing that hero could do that just makes me depressed i don't know like that's why i poured a whole water bottle on myself last chapter because <laughs> i i was just absolutely stunned i just can't believe he would actually do that to a final villain of his own series i how do you do that how do you one shot your final villain just like that it's so dumb <laughs> Only Saitama's allowed to do that. <laughs> but anyway, okay, look. Now we are here for the final chapter. And I'm going to be giving my thoughts about the series. You know, as we go along and some of the characters and stuff like that. Like we've been following throughout this entire um series. I've said that way too many times already, but okay. So, <laughs> why don't we... um. You just finally, uh, okay, wait, hold on a second. Why don't we just, uh, you know, get the chapter finally started already? Okay. So, let's see. Okay, so we have Loxes, Gaggio, Levy. I always like this couple right here. Let's see. Panther, Lily, Erza, <laughs> Abby, Erza, you make everything bad. I just hate what you did, especially the last one. You've been in three spriggan fights. Three spriggan fights. Somehow defeated Meteor without with one arm only. You somehow headbutted her, Eileen, and then somehow had the strength to. S and you still continue to fight Agnologia, and you used your swords, which should not have worked on him. You stayed yourself that the, a sword has to be enchanted in order to hurt him. Yeah, it somehow worked. You remember what Eileen did with those swords? She fucking like uh, made them into like a flower field and stuff. Like it's like. <laughs> But Agnologia, a powered up Agnologia, mind you. He, <coughs> he gets actually hurt and like blown down to the ship. 
you know, there's a YouTuber out there, um, and he actually pointed out how motion sickness should not have even a wart on Agnologia. And he actually made very good points on that. But, like, because, <laughs> like, what's it called? Like, it had something to do with, like, um, how, like, uh, he, because it was explained, actually, in the Eileen vs. Erza chapter. I didn't realize it at first until he pointed it out. Like, how, like, uh, something about, like, a dragon sentence being too much for a human or something along those lines. And so, like, you know, like, it, it de makes him develop motion sickness. The problem with that is, um, I mean, I guess I could explain it a lot better, but, yeah, like, the, the point is, like, a dragon himself should not be affected by motion sickness. Agnologia right there is a dragon. He became an actual dragon. So, I don't know why motion sickness works on him for some reason. Okay, but, yeah, like... I just want you to know, I want to come into this chapter full of positive vibes. Because it's the final chapter, and, you know, I kind of don't want to rant on a series that I really, like, loved at the beginning. You know, like, you know, all the way through. You know, like, they're, it's the final chapter. So, you know, why don't we just, like... <laughs> you know, unless, like, there's some completely BS and stuff like that. But, you know, I'll point them out, I'll point them out, don't worry about that. But, yeah, like... Yeah, I just still can't believe it's going. Oh God, no! Oh. <laughs> the, the the even even the book is all is always like just get on with it already. Okay, so so let's say Plu. Well, where is Plu this whole time? Remember Plu? Like, if anyone's know Plu, like from Rave Master, he plays a really big role in Rave Master. Like his nose, that nose is invincible. <laughs> you think that would take out Agnologia? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But like, no, but seriously, like, Blue play, plays like a huge part in Hero's other series, Rave Master. And I'm kind of shocked that he didn't even appear in the final arc, to be honest. It's kind of weird. Let's see. Let's see, full 43 pages sent off the last chapter begins out. I thought it was 48 pages. Come on. <laughs> Year X7793. Oh my god, I never keep track of the years. How How many years is it later? This year's Sem prize for new author goes to, it's been one year since that battle. Okay. Okay, well, it says it right there. <laughs> they sent the black dragon flying, and again, the world is protected by flame. A bunch of things happened, but allow me to introduce the author of Iris's Adventure, Miss Lucy Hartphilia. We're all doing great. Okay. Okay, that's nice for her. I mean, that she's always, like, really content about being a writer and everything. So, like, you know, like, good for her. Good for her. Okay, so let's follow what's going on here. Let's see. Okay, that's a nice spread of the guild. Okay, look, the guild arts with, like, locks is right there. He's like, I'm still the top dog here, dude. Let's see, let's see. Makarov. Oh, my God. Seriously, why is this man not dead? <laughs> How is he still alive? I just do not understand. Can I just say something? I've always been annoyed with the fact that Makarov, like, you know how he always has to change his, like, um number as guild master. First, like, he started off as a third, right, because... Mavis was first, and Press was second, and he was third. And then I, during the seven-year time skip, someone had to take over as guild master to look after the guild, so Makao took over. Okay, that makes sense to me. Then he passed it on to Guild Arts, but then Guild Arts passed it back on to Makarov. Now, instead of reclaiming him as a third, he renamed himself the Six, which I always found like it's a kind of a dumb joke right there. But then they actually did it again when they had another time skip, when uh freaking Urza uh, became seventh guild master, which she didn't even, even last long, she gave like one order just to find him, and that's all she really contributed. And like it was really only meant as a temporary like guild master, but no, they still considered him the eighth. I'm like, really? No, don't just take back the third. Look at Naruto for instance. When the fourth Hokage died, okay, well like the, okay, let's let's look at this up. The third Hokage was still alive when he passed on. The title of Okage to the next generate to the um, next candidate, the fourth Okage. The fourth Okage died, and and then the, the third Okage, since there has to be an Okage to look after the village, he reclaimed his title back as the third Okage. He became fifth Okage. No, it's just he just became third. I I just always found that kind of dumb. <laughs> I just, like, always wanted to throw that out there. I never really had a chance to talk about that, but, yeah, I, I might as well do it at the final chapter. <laughs> There's, uh, oh, my God. Why did you have to block Levy's face? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> like, you don't, you don't block my OTP right here. It looks like, 
Panther Lily's chain is connecting to Earth for some reason. But like, yeah, I think it's just no, it's a chain that Gajo is wearing around his neck. I think. I don't know. Maybe it's just a little snack for him to have. Anytime open. The doors of the guild are anytime open. Thanks for all your support. On the next page, we've got a bunch of new projects all in color. Page after page of fairy tale. Chapter 545, Irreplaceable Friends. Together, it was a blast. Thanks for everything. Sorry about that, guys. There was like a minor mishap with the uh, recording and such. So anyway, we're back to the chapter. My, I heard that the protagonist Iris was based off of you, Miss Harpelia. <laughs> that can be... Can't say I expected you to be such a beautiful young girl. Oh, don't you know? Miss Harpelia is part of the Maid's Guild fairy tale. Oh my, I see. So that's why. Oh dear, I get it now. Okay, what's going on here? Did something happen with fairy tale again or something? That's why her friends are so so rowdy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. I thought like they split up again or something for some reason. Oh yeah, this meets the best. Not so. You had enough. Quit taking off your. Quit taking your clothes off. Not here. Oh, it's uh, Urza scolding Gray as usual. The fish is good too. I bet that's a dirty of you, Happy. Let's see. There's Elfman, Lisano, Jet Droy. But they don't even have full faces right now. <laughs> There's Gajo with Levy. <laughs> There's a little Asuka. She's so adorable. <laughs> Let's see. There's um, Jubia, Mira Jane. Oh, poor Mira Jane doesn't even get in the full. Get like the full screen right there for her. She she really should have had a lot more screen time than she than she was given. High quality iron is something else I tell you. That's not for eating, silly. Crunch, crunch. He's just eating iron. Is that even iron genius? What well, what is it then? <laughs> Our Lucy won the new, the best new author prize. Don't tell me that's the prize. Yeah, she won it. Oh, I said I invite you, but only if you all behaved yourselves tonight. It's embarrassing. Too bad. I. <laughs> I thought they said to wear formal clothes, Buster. Yeah. Then put some on, idiot. What's that? Want to go? Okay, there they go as usual. Can you stop inviting? This is a joyous occasion. Whoa. <laughs> then Juvia has no choice but to strip instead. Okay, I don't see how that works. <laughs> Who cares? Give her some more. <laughs> And Romeo's just like, oh, you guys are poisoning my mind right now. Jeez, the whole ward ceremonies in shambles. Yep, a lot happened. Let's start with me. The novel I've been writing on been hit on the side for somehow I managed to win the new author prize. I didn't sell a ton of books and become super rich or anything. Let's see, but the novel I've been writing bit by bit on the side somehow managed to win the new author's prize. I didn't sell a ton of books and become super rich or anything, but one of my dreams did come true. Oh, good for you, Lucy. Congratulations, Lucy. Anna! <laughs> You're still here. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Anna has got to be one of the most pointless characters in this series. Like, she, she pretty much had no role in the last arc. There was no reason for her to be there. Why was she even there? Like, all she did was, like, she come up with a plan to try to defeat Agnologi, which doesn't even work. Does the exact opposite of that. It makes him stronger. <laughs> and Agnologi did not need to be stronger. <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess, like, Hero wanted to keep her around, like, you know, just to, like, congratulate Lucy or something like that. But, yeah, sure. Miss Anna. Miss Anna's still in this time. Here's a few things you need to keep living as an author from now on. <laughs> oh, that's right. She wrote books, too. I forgot. Meeting your own ancestors is a bit of a weird thing, but I still go visit her from time to time. Teacher, teacher, teacher. She's a teacher at a small village school now, apparently. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it. Lucy smells like Miss Anna. That's why I'm always so calm around her. Snip, snip. He's like, quit smell, quit it. <laughs> yeah, you had a crush on Miss Anna, didn't you? Yep, and? What do you mean, and? Wait, 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 what? Natsu had a crush on somebody? <laughs> And she looks like Lucy. Hmm. Well. <laughs> I guess that's something for the shippers right there. <laughs> but you know, this is the last chapter, so you know, it's most likely to happen. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. This is probably going to be like the chapter. Like, I don't know if they're all going to have kids or anything. But if they are going to have kids, I can guarantee you. They're going to have them like at the exact same time. You remember what happened with Naruto? 
all the kids are like are around the same age and they all go to school at the same time because all of the, somehow all their parents got together and like um made kids like around the same time it's like there was a period on the calendar or something like this is the day we we have to like try to conceive a child so like all our kids could play together <laughs> Kind of like the end of the Digi Destin 2 and Digimon Adventure 2, also. <laughs> Gajio and Levy, I got in super coats. Hey, Gajio over here. Okay, looking at that makes me kind of jealous. Psst, psst. Oh, what is she whispering in his ear? <laughs> For a moment, I thought I heard her say baby. But... Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, that's my favorite pairing in this series. <laughs> One of the only ones I really care about, honestly, but, oh my god, yes, yes. And I always say they have the most development out of any couple in the series, and I'm right. No other couple, like, beats them here. <laughs> For a moment, I thought her say baby, but was it just my imagination? Oh, god, I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> oh, I forgot. She's got better hearing than me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, that's funny. That's actually funny right there. Wendy goes to Charu to hang out at Lamia Scale pretty often. Okay, something about Shelly or something. They made her participate in the Lamia Scale Thanksgiving Day's festivities again. Love, Slayer, love, Slayer forever. Come next year too, damn it. Why are you getting mad? Okay, don't change to the end, okay? I, I, I've always got annoyed by this character, honestly. I can never tell what Toby's thinking. Who can? Why does he even look like that? He looks like a dog. Why does he look like that, though? Or Sherry has learned how to use a little mat. She... Hiro Mashima, you make it so hard. Really, Hiro? <laughs> Hiro, come on. No repercussions whatsoever in this whole arc. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to hold back so much. I'm still enjoying the chapter, like, right now, though, but come on. You just had to shove it in my face one more time, Hero. Come on. That's awesome, Sherry. She's always telling me what's going over there with a smile. You've done it. And the other guilds? Oh, who cares about Sabretooth, honestly? Sting. Lady, you're too strong. Ooh, Fro stinks so too. Okay, so, add a girl, Lady Minerva. Well, Sab Minerva's won Sabretooth's customary eating contest this year, too. It's the only contest Sabretooth can really win, honestly. So. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, I mean, he did beat Larkade and stuff, who was built up to be, like, beating Agnol... Like, be able to beat Agnolokia, yeah, but come on, come on. <laughs> Sometimes Hero, like, hypes up way too much, like... No. Okay, I had to read this very quick, because I do not want to see that face around. I'll look at Kagura while I'm trying to read. It's impossible. Okay, and over Blue Peg, it's the Ichigo... Slide to us a whole. We love to a director. Etia, general etia, etia, Destiny, Lord etia, man. Okay, let's go away. Let's go away. I don't want to get that guy in my face. What in the world am I doing? Super energy. I guess you're not underestimating, huh? Mermaid Hill is not the exclusive model agent of Weekly Sorcerer. <laughs> Everything's doing well. I'm so glad. Still not good with the alcohol. We <laughs> Kana. It's a joyous occasion. Bottoms up. Oh my gosh. He just like makes her chug it. Mm. Hey, if you make gr young girls drink too much, Jubia wants to strip more. Hey, quit it. This is what happens. Actually, let them drink. You gross old man. Come on. You, you, <laughs> you've you seen some of these women grow, Gildarts. Come on. <laughs> what were you thinking? I'm sorry. That scar, it's still there, huh? Oh, wait. Is it the one from um, Invel? Jubia doesn't mind it. You ask Wendy. I'm sure she'll get rid of it for you, right? But your scars are still there too, right, Great. Mm-hmm. But it's different for guys. Your body, well, well what about Juvie's body? Yeah, Great. what about Juvie's body? It's, well, it's our mind, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, um, you know, at first I wasn't too fond with Juvia and stuff, but, like, you know, I've been watching Mirai Nikki for a while, or it's also known as Future Diary. The main girl in there, she is... Fucking insane. She makes Juvia's obsession look like a saint compared to that. Like, well, like, yeah, like, this is very mild compared to you, know. <laughs> so, yeah, this, sure. Sure, great. You you could love her all you want. No. 
It's Wellard's, uh, yeah, um, Wendy's heard something again. Wait, did Juvia finally get some lovey-dovey time now or something? <laughs> Freaking Wendy hearing all of this. It reminds me of Piccolo in uh, Dragon Ball Z. I'm worried about Gray and Juvia too, but lately there's been a few other boy-girl couples that have been worrying me. Oh, no girl-girl or boy-boy. <laughs> I know some fans will be disappointed. Elfman and Eva, okay. A true man, Shar, fighting again. My, my. Yeah, I'm worried about them, but they're pretty close. <laughs> Loxus and Miriam. Really, Hero? Come on. <laughs> I mean, this, this this was never really foreshadowed or anything. I think he just put them in, like, because, like, Mira doesn't have anybody or Loxus doesn't have anybody. <laughs> uh, so, I know some people were hoping for uh, Freed or Loxus or something. Maybe, like, a, like an actual, like, gay couple or something. But, like, yeah, it doesn't look like he's going down that right, guys. <laughs> that route, guys. Sorry. Ichi came over to hang out again. You gotta be kidding me. No, no, but there's a rumor like that going around for a while. I mean, yeah, I would go for Mir too and stuff. I mean, I don't blame Loxus for that, but like, I just wish if he was gonna do this, he would see like much more of them. Loxus and Lisa. Wait, okay. What's going on here? Loxus, are you the real one? Are you still worried about that? Loxus and Kana? Loxus, let's drink. Sure. This guy's just full of rumors. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny if he actually turned out to be gay and just surprised everybody, actually. <laughs> I guess it's just all up to speculation now. Really, though, I'm quite impressed. I'm glad you won. I'm absolutely horrible when it comes to writing. One time I sent a letter of thanks to a guild that I have relied on for some time, and they came after me armed to the teeth. I think she means like during frost. She decided her writing was bad. And I find that hilarious. Ursa's bad at something. Anyway, congratulations, Lucy. I'm proud that we belong to the same guild. Thank you, Urza. Yeah, and to think the two I'm most concerned about, the two that somehow always happen to pass each other by, Jalal is the end, mine and yours. Jalal Fernandez, Jalal, Ursa and Jalal. Where is Jalal? Now, for a bit of tangent, the previous king of Fiora went to into re retirement. Okay, so he's a cook now. Yeah. In case people still didn't know, he is the pumpkin head. In case you guys didn't know about that. I mean, I kind of figured it out like a, like a little while back, but like it, it was kind of obvious. I'm trying to align the line right here, but it's darn hard to. Oh, okay, forget it. Princess Hisui succeeded the throne. The queen has been begun trying to reestablish relations with Alvarez and has been trying hard to bring wealth back to this country. As part of that initiative, Jalal and everyone else in Crime Source here were pardoned. Pardoned? No way. What now? Our crimes have been forgiven? Indeed. So they're free now. Indeed. But we were a dark guild. I've heard the particulars. I'm familiar with the past too. You were all made to shoulder heavy sins, despite the fact that perhaps more than anyone, your hearts look to tomorrow. I ask that from now on, for the sake of people, you try to live on. Live on. No, you know what that means, Jalal. You can actually get with Urza now. You don't have to worry about a goddamn thing now. So Jalal and the others were freed. I thought for sure Urza would be super happy about it, but it's complicated. This thing's too complicated, Lizzie. Write more understandably, will you? Really, I can't never tell what this girl's thinking. But I know these words are really hard. Ever since the pardon letter happened, Arthur, despite never having any interest in it, started doing her hair every single day. <laughs> it's a joyous occasion. Listen up, I'm the one who raised her. I raised Lucy. Is he in a wheelchair? Is he crippled? Makarov is still alive after all this. I... <laughs> okay. The funny thing is, like... I. I expected like um Makarov to um I don't know maybe die of old age or be really old like Onoki in um Nar at the end of Naruto <laughs> the Onoki you know the Suchi Kage <laughs> the, the really old guy like <laughs> he was still alive and it shocked me <laughs> stop being all stuck up about it now now Aoi as a result of what happened back then his legs aren't what they used to be oh so he's like my guy now who would hit a sick patient <laughs> Sick patients aren't allowed to drink alcohol, but the master is cheery as ever. From that time, he'll rather talk mysterious. He'll rather mysteriously about. Wait. 
he'll talk rather mysterious about what happened back then. That. What actually was that, I wonder. Oh, so he shaved again? Oh, I kind of like the beard. That first? What? Why? Oh, you dropped this. Wait. <laughs> what? Wait, what? How? How? <laughs> so hard. Oh, there's a guy on YouTube I know. <laughs> it, 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 there's a guy on YouTube called Axel and stuff. Like he's like uh, like making jokes about Zerf and Mavis coming back, and <laughs> here it is. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait to see like what he has to say about that right after I make this. <clears throat> Let's see. The, thank you. No, are you one of the publishing companies here? Yes, a small one though. Are you? No, I'm just an amateur writer. Miss Harfelia's work was just so moving to me that I snuck in, and now here I am. Me too. <laughs> By the way, yes? Your, uh, shoes. Where are your shoes? Oh no, I'm such a, I completely forgot about them. <laughs> I'm Arlios. I'm Mio. What is going on here? If you wouldn't mind, can we, would you like to talk a little? Yeah, sure. August this year sure is hot. Hot enough for me to wear, forget to wear shoes, probably. Yeah, I would, should take mine off, too. Okay. Is there something up with the names here? Arleos or Mio? I don't know what's going on here. How are they back? What is going on? They don't seem to know each other at all. Okay. Everything's so happy. I almost feel myself being enveloped by a warm something. Or oh, have you seen Gazio and Levy? Nope. Guess. Guess. Dang it. The first is following me around. Quiet. Try to quiet you. <laughs> hmm. I, I I like how like they don't know where where they are. So then they're probably off like somewhere. Like maybe like <laughs> like Gray and Juvia left the party too. So like you know we're probably doing something as well. It's a girl. It's a girl. Come here, pretty. Definitely not going to become an adult like that. <laughs> Like this? This is a bit tiring. Boy, a little closer now. I'm going to work tomorrow. You said that countless times now. You have a boyfriend? Yeah, his name's Eric and... <gasps> hey! <laughs> That's another couple that I actually <laughs> like, kind of like right there. I mean, I know we've never really seen them interact much, but like, you know, like... It's kind of a guilty pleasure couple I have. A Cobra and uh, Kinana and stuff. <laughs> they're reunited and now they're actually dating each other. Is he warm? Huh? My room. Don't tell me this is one of those if it was all a dream sort of things. What? How'd I even... Oh, please. Please don't. Please don't. Yo, my room! Look, I made your trophy all shiny. Was, okay, thank you. It was not all a dream. It's all scratched up. But at least it wasn't a dream. <laughs> yes, thank God. Otherwise, I would be kind of irritated by that. <laughs> like, that'd be... Not only would that be so many pages wasted. <laughs> like, that would mean, like, a lot of the stuff, like, you know, like, the couples getting together, like, Gajo Levin having a baby and stuff like that. Also, like... Also, the Eric and Kinana, the Juvia Gray thing, all of that would have been for nothing. <laughs> that would have been highly disappointing, Hero. <laughs> Why are you two in my room? Why, you just randomly just collapsed. We carried you home. Did I really drink that much? Um, Lucy, you know, don't tell her happy. What did I even do? Carry me, carry me, change my clothes. Happy, you're so fluffy. Good night. <laughs> she went to bed with them. <laughs> now I remember, I'll never get to be a bride now. But you'll be ready for work, right? Lucy, it's time for work. I'm here too, the three wizards. Maybe we should just sit these jobs out. I'm gonna die. I hear you. Hello, Lucy. Not just here. I don't mind. I do. <laughs> Quit playing with them. Thank you. For the sake of our futures. See, that is like really good art right there. Like, you see like how he's like a being Igneo, like punching like a Marge gear and like at the same time, like Igneo's punching Igneo. Yeah, I always thought that was like really good like picture right there that he drew. I'm back. What happened? Does your tummy hurt? No. I just remembered a bunch of things and I can't stop crying. 
If I never met you, not so or happy, I wouldn't be who I am today. <laughs> well, let's see. I wonder if that's how we're going to get for Nalu here, though. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> say, Lucy, got something I want to say. What? Wait. Here's all about that stuff. Time for work. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is probably teasing the Nalu fans so much right now. <laughs> is something even going to happen these last couple pages? I think it's almost over right now. <laughs> I sir, and here I was getting all in, all in motion. What do you mean? Who cares? You're the worst. Who cares? Because we'll always be together, right? Wait, my stuff. I'm not ready. We packed for you. Aye, we tossed those pervy panties of yours too. Why? Not to hurry. Sigh, so always late. We'll just leave you a lot bastard behind, bastard. <laughs> you know, like you know, like when I first started fairy tale, and I was like uh, up with like Nalu and stuff. It's actually kind of like a reason how I got into fairy tale and stuff. But um, I used to always like get irritated when Grey and Urza would tag along and stuff. I'm like, no, let them be alone. <laughs> Do you remember Edelus? Edelus arc, you know how like um, Gaja was like destroying like this locker room to like free the fairy tale members. And of course, I, I, the, the first two people just happened to be Grey and Urza released. <laughs> like they still find a, like somehow like find a way to slip in into like uh not soon Lucy's time. Like stop it. <laughs> we always said that after the war is over, there's something we want to do, right? Is this what the job's about? We finally got permission. Come, it's time to be off. The hundred year quest. I'm getting fired up. Oh wow, they're really doing that. That Guild Arts took one of those and he failed. So, they could probably do it. Do fairies have tails? In fact, do fairies even exist? An eternal riddle. An eternal adventure. I mean, if gods and dragons exist, they might. <laughs> An eternal adventure. The story behind our guild's name. We are a bit rough around the edges than the cute name would imply. You know, I can imagine the anime like playing like the first opening song at the end of the series. But every day's a blast. And I love everyone in this guild. Okay. I'm just like looking like um really close to the like, everyone around here. I hope everyone finds one. Something as irreplaceable to them as fairy tale is to me. Something like these beloved friends. See you later. Hey, there's the first fairy. Thank you all for your love these past 11 years. Has it really been 11 years? I said that last chapter too. What am I doing? Look forward to Mashima Sensei's next work. <laughs> I know there's going to be a, a bunch of people who are like, hell no. <laughs> No. <laughs> I mean, I'll still check it out, though. The end. Thank you to all the fans. And that's... That's the end, guys. I can't believe it's... Actually over now. <laughs> wow. It's just, uh... <laughs> I don't even know what to say right there. <laughs> So, um, honestly, it wasn't, it wasn't even a bad chapter at all. Like, not, not, not really. I mean, aside from the Sharia getting her magic back thing, I know a lot of people are going to be ranting on the chapter just because of that. But honest, honest to honest, it's, it's not, it's not really, it's not even a bad chapter. I pretty much enjoy it. It seemed like an epilogue, like he would write that he's always been planning out, regardless of how the... Alvarez arc ended. Well, I'm not sure about the whole mocker thing. I just wish he could have picked a guild master. That never really happened. I mean, that's damn. Yeah, this is real. I, I I I was hoping a guild master would happen. And uh, for all the Nalu fans out there, I am sorry. The hero did not <laughs> make it happen or like make it canon or something. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess, like, um, it could eventually happen, but, uh, 
like you, you know, like it, you know, like Natsu has like never like really shown a mer- romantic romantic interest like before. I mean, like aside, like it said he had a crush on Anna, so you know it could happen. It could happen. Lucy's a lot like Anna in more ways than one. And like you know, when she gets to be Anna's age, she'll just she'll still look like that. So <laughs> I wonder how Natsu will look like. You know, I was expecting Natsu to like be like um. Having like a short haircut like at the end of the series. It happened with uh, Ichigo, it happened with Naruto. So like, you know, I wonder if it'll happen with Luffy. I don't know, I probably won't know until like 10 years until One Piece ends. <laughs> I mean, who knows when One Piece is gonna end? I just I just don't even know what to say. So, wow. This, you know, for all it's worth, at least I'm glad I enjoyed this final chapter here. It's been fun doing all these live reaction stuff to these last like couple <laughs> these last couple of chapters i fairy so i have had like a lot of great moments with you with like um all your adventures like galuna island and uh the phantom lord arc was where i where you introduced my favorite character and um the battle of fairy tale that was a really good one grimmore heart i mean like I, like, I figured out there were some problems around that, but, like, when I first saw it, like, I did like it. Edelos wasn't too bad. Um, even the filler arcs were pretty great, too. Grand Magic Games, though. No, no, no. <laughs> no. No, no. Let's skip that one. Let's see. Sun Village arc. Okay, I guess. And Tartarus arc. I, I really like that one. Al- Avatar arc. Nope. Albert's arc. No! <laughs> this last chapter. Good, good, good. Good. <laughs> so, um, how do you guys feel about this? I, I know I'm going through a lot right now. I'm going to be probably rambling for the next couple of minutes right now. Um, are you going to check out Mashima's next work if he does a next work? How do you think... Oh my god, can you imagine if there's going to be any backlash? Well, do you think there'll be any backlash for no Nalu right here? <laughs> for like, you know, no kiss or anything or that? I mean, I got, I'm I'm glad my um my favorite couple like got got their moments and stuff. Like God's Joe really does love Levy. He confessed and everything. He was the one who confessed. It's always more impactful when the person who's least likely to confess is the one who confesses. Like um like an Oran High School host cup. I won't spoil who does what in that series, but like, you know, it's so much more impactful when the least likely person does it. But uh yeah, guys. What are your opinions on the last chapter and um your overall feelings like of this um of this like a uh, uh, series in general, like you know, like now that you saw it all the way to the end, do you think um I mean, you know, like, you know, for a moment, I thought it was, he was going to, like, um, confirm, like, imply that there was going to be a future generation, something with Boruto. I wouldn't know how I would feel about that if that happened. But, you know, like, uh, you know, like a lot of people are going to be happy that did that didn't happen. Because, you know, then it would be, like, uh, following, like, uh, all that stuff like that. But, like, I don't... It's... I, I just, yeah, it's over now, yeah. I mean, like, I did like this last chapter, like how I did with uh, Bleach. It, it doesn't remind me a lot of Bleach. Like, this war arc could have been, like, a lot better. With, like, with Bleach, like, I still like that that arc better than the Alvarez arc. I mean, like, with, like, it did have, like, a lot of, like, great moments in there. But sometimes in Bleach, the battles drive on for way too long. That's the funny thing with Fairy Tale and Bleach. Okay, Fairy Tale, the fights are too quick. Bleach... The battles can be too long. <laughs> like there should be like a middle ground right there. But um yeah, I just it's finally over after all these years and like it's going to be weird not getting a chapter fairy tale like after some time. I mean, I guess like I guess like a uh, Nanatsu no ties I will just have to do. <laughs> but um because it comes out the same day as Fairy Tale, but like you know, it's I'm despite everything, I will miss it. 
I will, I'll miss everything about it, actually. I'll miss, like, the great moments. I'll even miss ranting on it, because when you rant, like, like for some reason, there's something about this series where it's actually kind of fun to rant at when you think about it. But it's... But, like, there are enjoyable moments, too. Like, remember when Zareph, like, actually became, like, the god, like, like <laughs> achieved, like, um, fairy heart and stuff? That was such a badass moment at the... But then moments after that, when, when he beats Zareph and stuff, it's just... Like, I... <laughs> it's just, it's so weird. <laughs> like, that battle made no sense, though. But, you know, I'm not gonna be done with Fairy Tail just yet. I still... There are still a couple of videos I still want to, like, put out there. there there's, like, I have a couple ideas in my head now, like... I want to talk about Agnologia and how Hero kind of mistreated him. I want to talk about like um how like a certain characters are like there are the people who believe that Mirror Jane is like equal or even strong in Urza and like I just have to point out the fact that she's not. <laughs> it's weird that I'm talking about this right now, like you, you know, like now that the series is ending, but you know, I still want to talk about it. It's like even like um when when someone like talks like bad about a series, I still want to like talk about like stuff with with them you know it's always talk of fun to talk about like with uh anime and manga with me but uh yeah <laughs> you know i think you know right after this i'll start rereading everything like from the very beginning and so guys i will for any for for people who are just like here to like watch somebody watch the um end of uh, fairy tale, well, uh hopefully like you've seen the other real life reactions up to this point. I have enjoyed doing them, so I will like um. <laughs> you guys have a very good day, and um, I don't know if you're gonna be watching any videos like of me in the future, but like. If you are like um, then like I got some like uh ideas in this head like to like throw out there but like right now i think i'll just like um you know start over and look over the series like you know maybe one last time all right guys this is me signing out hopeful like <laughs> and like yeah it's the end of an era it's the end of an era right there like <laughs> cannot believe this is happening so yeah, guys, once again, I have to say, I'll see you around, and hopefully you guys have a pleasant day, and you all take care of yourself, all right? Goodbye. Oh, wait, one last thing, guys. Um, Regarding the whole Nalu thing, um, just, you know, like, the... <laughs> don't go like you know ranting at the author for something like that because like okay like it might be a ship that you all have been following even myself included but like you know well like there's like a couple reasons why you shouldn't do it like and i could think of three okay one it's possibility that it could still happen i mean it's pretty much implied in a way and stuff i mean like you know he it's shown he has a crush on anna so you know it's highly possible like you know dur during that 100 year like um uh, quest that then something like that could happen but also like you know it's just you know like it's just like you know fictional character guy guys like you know it's not it's nothing you should really like um send death threats for more it happened with naruto it happened with bleach don't let it happen again but this is fairy tale like and like you know some of the fans can be really hardcore when it comes to this series so you know there's probably no point in me talking about it i thought we were gonna have a whole different issue with like nalu and nali thing with you know not not to lasana or not to lucy but no, like but like you know like um but you know another reason is like, while i do believe that this series does deserve some bashing those are just the wrong reasons to do so you're you'll, you'll be ranting because of a ship not because of the story <laughs> but yeah that's all i really wanted to say right there all right catch you later